Hello and welcome to Mark, you hear me, Matthew, and we are back with more Skylander Superchargers news. And this is some rather interesting news, I think probably finishing off what we have found out from Gamescom. A lot of interesting stuff and a lot of new stuff um, in terms of packagings and the waves, um, which I think is going to be a very interesting sort of factor. Because doing some calculations, we're going to have a majority of the characters on day one, um, or especially at least one specific region being Europe. Um, but um, oh, it's uh, there is definitely some interesting stuff. But let's not waste any more time and actually get into it. So first things first, we have this. Now, this is actually from the trailer, which I also used in the previous update, and also some subscribers did actually say to me, oh, did you notice that da 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 is in the trailer? Now, you'll see here that there are three different pictures showing you what looks like the new character. Now, we did cover on this, we did cover this guy uh, in the last update, but obviously it was just a little circular symbol, and there wasn't a lot of detail to it to establish what species it was and what exactly it, it, it was in 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 any context but finally using the trailer and stopping it in specific parts you can see I've cut up certain parts of the trailer to find these areas um, you can see obviously the top one up there was dive bomber covering a majority of him but you can see his face there and what looks like the base and it is because it's some sort of boulder that's what it looks like um, and then obviously in the other two pictures you can see a bit more of an up close look at him with the eye patch it does still remind me of a rabbit slightly I think maybe I said a cat in the previous one but he still looks like a rabbit really um, the, the suit he's got like a, a greeny brown uh, sorry green it's, it's orange uh, an orangey brown suit with these like sort of black trousers and some silver studded boots but you can see on, on the base, it's obviously a, uh, a rock base, and the only rock which is left to be found out is Smash Hit, which is this guy. So, uh, yeah, some pretty interesting stuff from that trailer, um, especially this last bit, which totally skipped my mind in terms of actually seeing it and being able to actually establish what this character looks like. But we'll be coming back to him a little bit later. Moving on, you can see this, I uh, found this on... Um, a, a, another video is just basically showing you the little sort of coin medallions um, of these characters you can see a few different sort of characters here we obviously know now every character um, the two that interest me the most are actually high vault at the bottom the very very bottom um, and also you can see smash it there looking again like some sort of cat rabbit sort of thing again trigger happy is up there which we haven't actually seen at any figure for him um, so hopefully we might get his vehicle and figure released because I believe that is the only figure and vehicle not to be shown yet um, for mind uh, what's his name mind vault no high vault sorry for high vault his his vehicle is going to be called a shield strike uh, striker um, which is pretty interesting it's sort of like a low down car sort of thing that's what it looks like from the back at least in one of the pictures it's a very quick picture and quite blurry um, and obviously there you go I'm talking about it there is the shield st 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 striker there I can't really make out where the wheels are I don't know whether it might be a hover, hover car but it looks very sort of street racer esque now also not only have we seen the trophy for Chaos, and we've also seen the trophy for Golden Queen, but we've got these two here. Now, apparently the guy on the left bottom is Count Money Bones. I think that's his name. I can't really remember him off the top of my head, so if anyone wants to remind me, be my guest in the comments below. And then the one next to him, if you haven't already seen this, is Wolfgang. Um, so one of them is for the sky, and one of them is for the land, which I'm guessing Count Moneybone is, because um, <clears throat> there's already been uh, information in the trailer showing that uh, Wolfgang has a flying vehicle, so it makes sense that that is going to be a flying vehicle. So that's pretty interesting stuff there. <clears throat> Moving on, packaging. Oh yes. We're talking packaging. Now, I, I have to give compliments to, uh, oh, you can see it on the screen there, but myskylanders.de, they are like the saviour. Um, 
they 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 provide so much information, especially when like it comes to Gamescom and everything. And I think a lot of people rely on them for their information, um, <clears throat> for pictures, everything like that. I do because it's just a fantastic site. So I do give compliments for the, for them to take the pictures and everything like that. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to use these pictures. And I really really wanted to show them off to uh, all the subscribers and viewers. But you can see here we've got Dive Clops and Shark Shooter Terrafin. Now to me this confirms that these are going to be wave 1. I think when you I think this has worked for many years um <clears throat> ago since uh what was it Swap Force um you you sort of saw the packaging and it would be wave 1 and there would be no reason for them to give you the packaging for wave 5 um because it would just be kind of weird and silly but um it's awesome to see these guys in their packaging they do look really really cool. Dive Clops is almost taking up the whole box. That's that's how big he is. So I think Dive Clops could be quite a chunky and large figure compared to others. Um, but I really, really cannot wait now to get these guys in hand, see them in the stores, see the colours brightening up those shelves. And that's just going to be an absolutely awesome experience when that happens. So moving on from that, we've got this. Now this was on, it looks as if it's on the back of... Um, one of the packagings. I can't. I can't really tell you specifically, but looking at it, it actually might be the packaging for. Um, oh, what's it called? Uh, the C, the C Racing Pack. Um, seen as all of the stuff there is saying challenging mirror race mode and race against your friends and everything like that but this is basically showing you what the sky one is going to be like and that you'll you're going to be getting astro blast which is the light supercharger and sunrunner which is obviously the matching vehicle as well as the sky trophy so it does look really really cool all of this sort of on the packaging showing it off um and it's not that much of a blurry picture you'll be able to you know establish a nice amount of detail and understand what's coming in that specific box. Moving on from that, there is this. Now I know a lot of people probably were thinking, why? Well, you know, I, I, I mean, I, I've seen it, I've heard it. People have been asking, can you put the Skylander in the car? Nope. This looks like you can. Now these are going to be radio-controlled cars with the Skylanders in them. Now, personally, what I think would be good is if those Skylanders aren't in them and that those cars are designed to hold the actual figures I think that would bring a lot more variety to the overall um, franchise especially where you'll actually be able to take out the, the specific um, person like Hot Streak for example you could take uh, take the passenger out and replace him with somebody completely different so you could switch over Fiesta with uh, as it's being called on their Nitro it's not called Nitro it's called Spitfire um, but really really awesome Th that's definitely interesting I think a lot of people might be adding that to their Christmas list especially now here is another interesting thing Sea Shadow um, now this uh, Sea Shadow I think is only available in the Dark Edition um, in terms of like for in a starter pack it doesn't come in any other starter pack but this allows you to actually have the normal Sea Shadow so if you get the Dark Edition you're going to get a Dark Sea Shadow uh, obviously it depends on which one you go with if you go with a Nintendo one Sea Shadow's off the off the record you're not going to be able to get that one um, now. What's slightly worrying me is that there has been no packaging for Hot Streak, Spitfire, and also not that I don't, not that I think people would want it, but Stealth Elf. Seen as Stealth Elf is in every single starter pack, but Hot Streak and uh, Spitfire they're not in any packagings or combos out of yet. Which means if I personally want to get them. I would not only have to buy the Wii U starter pack, but I would have to go out of my way to try and get another one. Say, for example, because I have the Xbox, get that. Um, so I'd have to have the 360 one. And then, to add on top of that, you'd have duplicates, duplicate portals, and then duplicate games. So I hope that at one point, hopefully before the release that there will be some news about some sort of combo pack because otherwise I can see a lot of money being uh, used to get starter packs but all for the benefit of collecting all of these figures because they do look really really cool. 
but just to bring that in into the old the old mind there. But moving on from that, we've got this now. Um, I am quite interested by some of these. Um, you can see some of the traps from Trap Team there, um, some of the legendary sort of um, coloured in traps, if you want to call them that. There's a backpack there with Chopper and Spry, colour alive, I don't know what that, oh, hold on, it's a iPad thing, it looks like speakers. Um, what's interesting to me is that there looks to be some sort of stump, stump smash igniter maybe? But they're headphones. Now, I really, really want to get a pair of those because they look really cool. You've got Stump Smash's hands, actually, the earpieces. The only problem is I really don't like those types of speakers with those little rubbery ends. Um, <clears throat> then you've got headsets, walkie-talkies. So there's all this new stuff coming out, obviously, but it doesn't say Skylanders Superchargers. It's just Skylanders. So it's just plain old Skylanders, but it's still has that sense of being a part of this game seeing as it is coming out with it so not bad there so moving on we've got more packaging here so you've got Stormblade and Fiesta now th um, these guys came out uh, early on so I think it was pretty obvious that these were going to be wave ones um, you're not going to be having wave five shown off now especially because they might still be in progress of developing them and everything like that um, in terms of uh, the designs and getting them all ready in the packaging and everything like that. But the packaging for these guys is just mind-blowing because the, the colours, the pictures, they're so HD, they're so crisp. Um, and, oh, it's just going to be so cool to see these guys in the stores and pick them up and be like, yes, I finally got this guy. Um, but, yeah, there we go. So, and then there's this one, obviously, you can see... Uh, we've seen these two before. Sea Shadow we saw just a few minutes ago. And then... Um, a dive bomber there we saw in a previous update showing you a bit more a bit more up close and personal with it but uh, nice to see it on a peg next to some others um, which is really really cool moving on now let's talk about the waves we've seen the packagings they get well, well I say we've seen the packagings we're still going to be seeing them now but wave one so if you are getting the starter packs, obviously you're going to be getting different characters. If you get Nintendo, you know who you're going to be getting. If you're going to get any others, you're probably going to get Hot Streak, uh, Spitfire, and Stealth Elf. So you've got uh, the sort of magical combos. Plus you've got a factor in the Dark Editions, which I think give you it gives you uh, what is it? You get Dark Stealth Elf, Dark Spitfire, Dark Hot Streak, Dark. The sea shadow and then the chaos trap um, and obviously if it's different like for the Wii U or uh, the uh, Wii or 3DS you'll get other Nintendo characters as you already know so moving on from that the wave ones have been confirmed to be these guys so we have shark shooter Terrafin obviously returning character but newly supercharged up uh, we've got Stormblade we've got Fiesta Dive Clops, Sky Slicer, The Crypt Crusher, Dive Bomber, The... Why is that one come back on? Okay, The Crypt Crusher, uh, it should have been Sea Shadow, but we... I'll, I'll, I'll go with that. It should have been Sea Shadow. Um, so, is that it? I think so, yes. Um, <clears throat> now... As well as that, so you'll be having, uh, let's go through it, you've got Spitfire in his vehicle, if you're going to be getting these, Donkey Kong in his vehicle, Bowser in his vehicle, you've got Stealth Elf, you've got uh, Fiesta, you have got Stormblade, uh, who else have we got? Uh, oh, actually we've got combo packs as well, we've got Terrafin. Um, we've got Dive Clops, Dive Bomber, Crypt Crusher, and then the combo packs are supposedly going to be uh, Terrafin and Shark Tank, which we've seen the packaging for them, and as well as that, we've got Jet Vac and Jet Stream, so they're completely different, we haven't even seen any packaging for them yet, so hopefully that rumour is true, because that's going to bunk up the collection quite considerably, and unlock some new cars, and vehicles, I'll say vehicles, because they're not just cars. 
As well as that, we also have the uh, the C Racing Pack, which includes Reef Ripper and Deep Dive Gilgrunt. So you're already talking, if you get all of them, which I've just said, round, it's over 20. It must be about 21, 22, something like that, um, including ones that I haven't written down here. It's got to be over 20. But that's not including Dark Edition uh, characters. I'm only including if you're going to go for maybe, I don't know, uh, Donkey Kong and his vehicle. Yeah sort of collecting all of them but not the dark edition now moving on from that um what's interesting is let's just let's just show them off um uh, here's this guy now obviously we i was talking about this guy a little bit earlier and looking in him now he's a very muscly looking rabbit it, it definitely just i think this is distinguished that this guy might be a rabbit but let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on this guy. Because personally, I think he looks absolutely amazing. It's so different to have a character not on the actual base. It's his weapon on the base, and he's jumping in the air as if he's kicking something. His expression is joy. Um, the, the colours used, uh, it makes him look like a builder. And that's, I think, the best part, is that obviously he is going to be going with, uh, what's it called, Thump thump Truck, is that what it's called? Yeah, Thump Truck. Um, but it's just so awesome to see this guy actually like this. And especially with the boulder, which just so much reminds me of, uh, like, Prison Break, all the spikes coming out of it. Um, the base looks awesome, the character looks awesome, very Builder-esque. But why am I showing you this? Well, these were actually released today, while, while I'm filming this. Um... They were released today, these pictures of um, these specific characters, because these are actually going to be part of Wave 2. Now, um, what's interesting is, and we'll get to this at the end, when all of these waves actually come out. We know that Wave 1 is going to be coming out at launch, but we'll get to that at the end. Let's go through these and actually just check out some of these uh, different pictures and packagings. So we got this guy, which I'm pretty stoked for, because he also looks pretty big. I think this guy's going to be um, up there in terms of size with dive clops. Um, the shield looks absolutely amazing, and I have to I have to applaud the amount of detailing to go on the scratches on the actual figure. Not like scratching it on a desk or something. The actual like damaged scratched parts for the shield, the staff, his armor. He just looks absolutely amazing. I don't know what sort of species he is. But he looks like some sort of racer. Um, he looks pretty cool. But this guy is basically going to be piloting the, the uh, what's it called, the shield striker, which we saw previously. Um, but we've also seen him with uh, Josh Duhamel, um, who's, I think this is the guy he's voicing. Um, but it's just so cool. I love the base. It looks so cool to have all those techie gears poking out of the engine. Um, but really, really stoked for this guy to be coming out in Wave 2, even though we've barely seen any footage of him or Smash Hit until now. Um, but moving on from that, we've got this. Now, this is Nightfall, obviously, we all know who Nightfall is. Um, she'll be coming out in Wave 2 as well, so you won't have to be waiting for Sea Shadow to be piloted by its actual driver. You'll actually get Nightfall f as part of Wave uh, 2. She looks pretty cool in the packaging. I like the background. It's pretty plain, but the dark and the lightning and the ice and everything, I think, brings out a lot of detail. The swishes on her hooks, they look really cool. Almost give her a sort of an electrical orb. But she just looks so awesome. Really, really cool. But you can even see what their sayings are. It's, I think it says dark and dangerous there. That's going to be a saying when she jumps on the portal. That's really, really awesome. Moving on from this, we have the packaging for High Vault. And this guy looks pretty cool. The, the, again, the static electricity and all that. The, 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 the golden platform which is put down. Um, and his, his saying is protect and surge. Pretty good for a tech, tech uh, character there. But this guy really is just absolutely amazing. He looks so cool. And I can't wait to see him in Wave 2. As well as that, you've got Smash Hit and his packaging, which his saying is let's roll. Um, at least it's not roll with it, and I don't have to do a, um, uh, what's it called, a rocky roll impression, because they were terrible. Uh, or at least that's still to come, but uh, there's a bit of spoilers for you in the uh, 
finishing off a of trap team, but uh, this guy looks awesome again in packaging. That's all you can really say for these because they really do look so cool in this packaging. It brings out detailing that I think they've definitely improved on the packaging. I know it seems silly to say that when we haven't even got it in hand, but looking at the detail, the colours, the gradients, the actual char uh, characters themselves have gotten more unique, more crazy, but that's the best thing about it because it just brings so much more to the game. So we have Smash Hit, and he's going to be part of Wave 2. Now, unfortunately, that is actually all the pictures for Wave 2. So you've got those three characters there, which is Smash Hit, you've got High Vault, and then you've also got uh, la, 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 Nightfall. So those three have been shown off. However, what also is going to be show, uh, g ugh, I can't even speak. What also is going to be uh, brought out as as well in Wave Two is going to be the Burn Cycle, which is Eruptor's uh, vehicle, the Shark Tank, which you probably be thinking that's a bit strange. The Jet Jet Stream, not the Jet Stream, Jet Stream itself. Um, which is Jetvac's vehicle. You're going to probably be thinking, why is that coming out as well? And then the Stealth Stinger. So, out of Wave 2, there's only going to be five extra sort of uh, characters and vehicles to collect on top of Wave 1. Um, which I, I guess is pretty cool because it, it, it bunks up the amount of total to now probably about 27 different characters, excluding Dark Edition. But um, 27 characters already. Um, wait, <laughs> we haven't got to the best part yet because the best part is just to come. Um, now let's just have a little look at this. I wrote this all down just to sort of show you off. Wave 1, we've said before, launch day. Wave 2, ready for this, September 25th. That's basically launch day for us. So... While America and I believe Australia will have to wait five days for extra characters, oh no, not in Europe, not in the UK, not in anywhere in the Europe at all, we're just going to be able to go out and grab Wave 1 and 2, which is around 27 characters, not including Dark Edition, on the day it comes out. 27 characters, that's over half of the overall characters which are going to be coming out in this game. Um, now, even more interesting is the, the fact that it actually says Wave 3 is December 1st. So, we have to wait now from September 25th with about 27 characters. I'm saying about because it's a rough estimate of 27 characters until December 1st. So, there's 27 characters to be showing off, which is just going to blow your mind you'll be able to get through so much with 27 characters again rough estimate but talking of wave 3 that's also been announced no packaging or no inf no like pictures or anything like that we have seen um basically every single one of these but basically who's coming out well let's go through it we've got big bubble pop fizz splat we've got lava lance eruptor hurricane jet vac in a single form You've got the Splatter Splasher, um, you've got the Shield Striker, and the Thump Truck. Those are all supposed to be coming out, plus two different combo packs, which is going to be the Pop Fizz combo pack. So that'll be Big Bubble Pop Fizz, and uh, what's it called? The Bubble... no. Uh, what's it called? I can't think what it's called. Bubble something? Bubble Basher? No, it's not that. Um, and then also Roller Brawl will be in a combo pack. So Roller Brawl, we haven't even seen any packaging or anything like that. We haven't even seen the car. Um, we know it's a car, and we know what it's called, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. But it's a pretty interesting, like, sort of bone car thing. Um, but, I mean, this is just so cool. There's so much coming out with Wave 3, so if it's ideal for probably Christmas, you know, uh, September, it's not September, if Wave 3 came out in September, I think we'd all just be like, what? But Wave 3, December 1st, whether that is going to be changed or anything, these are all due to pre-orders which have been put up um, on specific sites. I mean, you can go around to different sites and be like, well, hold on, why is there a pre-order here for Wave 2s or 3s or anything like that? I don't know, but they're coming up, and apparently that's when it's going to be coming out. Uh, and it makes sense that they're going to be bringing out extra characters for December, seeing as Christmas is in that month, um, 24 days before Christmas on the 1st. 
for some very interesting stuff. And I, it, it's enjoyable to actually think that we're going to be able to get a grand majority of these Skylanders on day one, which also means there's going to be a lot of unboxings on day one, as well as a lot of gameplay. But it is just so awesome. Oh, as well as that, forgot to completely mention anything about this. Also for Wave 3, there will be the Sky Action Pack. Um, and basically, we've already seen that, where that's going to be Astro Blast, uh, the Sky Runner, and also the Wolfgang Trophy. So, pretty cool stuff. So, we're going to have a lot of stuff to be getting on with um, <clears throat> on launch day. Uh, September 25th is... It's about a month and a week away. That's it. A month and a week. Um, especially for America. A month and a week. I think it's about 40 days, 39, something like that. Especially at the time of this recording. Um, but, oh, it's just so cool. And I cannot wait to get started now. Especially knowing what is going to be coming out on the launch day. Um... But yeah, there we go. So if you have enjoyed this uh, update, please make sure to hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. Uh, obviously, if you're new to the channel and you've just seen this video and you want to be ready and waiting for S Skylander Superchargers, hit the subscribe button as well. Um, there are other games going at the moment. Um, what else? You can comment down below, like I've said throughout the video, and give me your own feedback on what you've actually thought of the video as well as this information. Um, and also rate the video so I know you're enjoying the overall news updates, especially this one because it's just so cool to finally be able to say that these are going to be coming out on this specific day. And around about an estimate of 27 characters on day one for people in Europe. For for the people in America and Australia, it seems as if it's going to be an estimate of about 18, depending on whether you want Donkey Kong depending on whether you want Bowser, depending on whether you want the Dark Edition, whatever you want, you're going to be getting a, a nice amount of different characters. So you're not going to be bored with just one character, um, which I think is the main thing. But there we go, guys. So I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you guys on the next video on the channel. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you then, and goodbye.